hair is a deeply profound experience. It's a part of our identity. It's a part of who we are. It's a part of who we put in the world. And cancer is already such a sinister and awful illness that if you can keep your hair through it, that's like one way to beat it. It's like, no, you're, you're gonna take all these things from me, right? Like I, I had a double mastectomy, so I've lost my breasts. Things have changed, like I've lost that youthful sense of invincibility, but I kept my hair. I wasn't gonna let it take my hair. One of the questions that uh, people always ask me is how does scalp cooling work? And it's actually a, probably a couple of different ways. Uh, if you cool down the hair follicles, their metabolism slows down, so they may be less sensitive to the toxic cell killing effects of chemotherapy. And then the second thing, of course, is a much more simplistic uh, mechanism, which is that by simple cooling of the scalp, you cause vasoconstriction or the blood vessels actually get narrower and you deliver less blood to the hair follicles and therefore less chemotherapy. So cancer isn't a cheap illness and on top of facing the expenses associated with treatment and with everything else, Hair to Stay made it financially possible um, to use the cold caps and keep my hair. So without Hair to Stay, I don't think I'd have my hair today. Without the subsidy, I think maybe I would still do the cold caps, but I would have gone broke trying to save my hair. It was that important and it was that critical to my survival. So I'm really glad that Hair to Stay was there to alleviate some of the financial burden associated with cancer treatment. With the assistance of the Hair to Stay Foundation, I was able to keep my confidence, my self-esteem, and my desire to beat cancer. And I just feel like it made a big difference in the way I approached my treatment, the way I felt about myself, my relationship to myself throughout the treatment. Um, I just feel so grateful. I was able to look in the mirror and feel normal. I was able to go to school events with my children and their friends weren't staring and asking what was wrong with their mommy. You know, when you're bald, cancer walks into the room before you do. It, it kind of just announces to the world, here's a cancer patient. I think I kept like 95% of my hair. We, as a family, really appreciate you all. Hi, I'm Karen Gordon, owner of J. Gordon Designs and Karen Gordon Hair Loss Solutions. I'm also on the advisory panel for Hair to Stay, a nonprofit organization dedicated to providing cooling caps for people undergoing chemotherapy treatment. Cooling caps help reduce the amount of hair that is lost during certain types of chemotherapy treatment. And we've all as cosmetologists had that client who sat in our chair who was traumatized by the thought of losing her hair due to cancer treatment. So I'm asking you today to join the Hair to Stay 1000 Club. We're looking for 1000 salons to raise $1,000 each to help 1000 people through their cancer treatment journey. So please go to hairtostay.org and click the banner or click on the QR code at the end of this video. Let's unite and make it a goal to never do a chemo cut again.